Welcome back to another episode. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. If you're new, please consider subscribing. So this time I wanna go over the test mat. I know there's a couple different companies out there that are doing the mattresses that'll go in the back of the Tesla. I decided to go with test mat. Let's look at the unboxing and go through the setup process. Okay, when you first receive the test mat, this is what it looks like packaged in the box. You have your twin sheets. You have your privacy screen. You can scan the QR code and watch the installation of that. It comes in a little pouch. This strap holds it all together once we have it assembled in the carrying case. Okay, this is the carrying case. You have the wooden extension planks, the carrying case, the compression strap, your mattress, and a safety blade. Again, another QR code to watch the installation of this. Uh, the extension planks, I think, is the part that goes um, right behind the front seats. And it goes like straight down to uh, give it support. And last but not least, your mattress. It's all compressed, it's all compressed in there. So I'm going to get this all set up and I'll bring it back to you guys and show you what it looks like once it's all in the case. Car camping is a lot of fun. I've done it a bunch of times, but never in the Tesla. So I'm really looking forward to, to doing this. I went onto Tesla's website and I purchased the adapter. This is um, what campsites use for the uh, generators on campers. So you can just buy this adapter, plug it into your mobile charger, and you're good to go. You're going to almost always have to have electric because your USBs are going to stay running. Most importantly, your HVAC system is going to stay running um, and your screen up front. So you're going to need electric to the car. I doubt you'd make it through all night running the heat. So let's take a look at the setup process and see how long it'll take you at a, at a campsite. Is it faster than uh, throwing up a tent? Well, let's see. What's pretty neat is that the test mat is the perfect size to fit right underneath. So it's not gonna take up any space unless you're using this for camping. Uh, but without a tent, I think you're gonna have plenty of room in the trunk. So let's take a look. I'm gonna tell you when I set this up and got it into the bag, it was a challenge. It was a challenge to compress it. Uh, and it uses this little clip right here. Takes a little time to fill up with air, not too bad. So it comes in three sections and I installed the wooden plank and the wooden plank goes towards the head. The bag also doubles as a cooler once you take everything out. I don't know how good of a cooler, but Multi-purpose, right? It's pretty cool. I'm also gonna put it on the side and probably th uh, throw my shoes in here because I don't wanna bring my shoes in onto the, onto the mattress. So uh, you could even put your shoes in, zip it up, and uh, hopefully it'll be dry in the morning. For an extra add-on, you can get a three-piece twin sheet set. It'll give you the fitted sheet, the flat sheet, and the pillowcase cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up have it uh, have it as nice as possible. It 
was a little bit tricky to get the fitted sheet on because with the three sections, it's kind of moving around a little bit. But finally got it on. Let's throw the sheet on now. All right, I know I sped it up for you guys a little bit, but it's definitely a lot faster than setting up a tent. It's pretty much the longest thing is just to make the bed. Um, it's not perfect, but you know we're camping here, so you know I think it's I think it's good enough. Let's get inside and see what it feels like, and give you my thoughts there. Okay, we're inside now, so it's pretty uh it's pretty comfortable. Definitely enough room for one person. Might be a little snug for two, but I think you can make it work. This kind of doubles as the shelf. You can set up your phone, your iPad, get yourself uh, set up for the night. There's enough room for my legs, just enough. My feet reach just the, uh, the end here. So I have a little room going forward. I could slide the pillow up a little bit. One of the suggestions is grab yourself another pillow and you can kind of stick it here and then maybe roll onto your side. And then I think you would have enough room for a second person without a problem. All right. So this is actually very comfortable for the moment. I would probably move these seats a little bit closer to me so I can kind of use it as a headrest and prop myself up a little bit but it's not bad. So I don't know about a night of sleeping. I'm gonna to have to give that a try and I'll update you guys when I do that. All right, so you guys may be thinking, well, the, well, there's a lot of glass in here and a lot of sunlight and people might be looking in to see what's going on in here. So Testmat also sells a privacy screen that'll go around the whole inside, cover up hopefully most of the glass. We're gonna give that a try. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and watch this instruction video and I'll get, be right back with you guys. How about like a start here or it says to locate uh, the two pre-attached carabiners. Okay, this is what it looks like when you lay it all out and the installation video says it's pre-attached, but it's not. It comes in the bottom of the bag. So let's take the two carabiners and they must go into either these black. Just gotta figure out what's the front and what's the back. This is probably this is probably the front. This looks like this looks like the windshield to me. So I'm going to attach these here and then we'll go back inside and see see if that lines up. I suggest you guys watch the the installation video that Test Matt made because it's much higher production value than I can do and um, with all this rustling around and stuff like that it's going to drive you guys nuts. So the only thing that's left open is the ceiling. I guess if you want to do some stargazing, they do sell some uh, some like sunscreen uh, like visors that you can put here. Like it's like comes in two panels. At least maybe this panel because you got a lot of sunlight here. But I guess if you're camping, you're roughing it. You're not really going to be uh, too worried about that. I can really I can really tuck in all the edges here and really get this completely secured. But yeah, nobody can see in unless they're they're looking in over the top. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment, please hit subscribe. And there's a link down below so you guys can get a discount if you wanna purchase one. All right, well, thanks again. And as always, drive safe.